Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and if you're watching this, it means it's October 1st, and you know what that means. It means that the Encore Crown brush set is available, so keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Corin, and you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi Corin, stop using my lipstick. Hey everyone, welcome back. So previously, a few months ago, I launched a limited edition brush set with Crown and it was sold out in four days. And ever since, people have been requesting for a relaunch and I told everyone that's going to relaunch um, just in time for holiday shopping. And that time is now. So it's October 1st, uh, if you're watching this video, and it's the relaunch date for my popular uh, Encore brush set, okay, from Crown. And what it is is that it's got 15 comparable brushes in an apron. And um, when I originally made a video on this, I didn't realize that most of the people, of course, that purchased it are, uh, of course, makeup lovers. And uh, most of them also bought extra ones for, you know, gift ideas for uh, those who are uh, just starting out with makeup. And in reality, the whole set actually is ideal for everyone, whether you're a professional uh, or just a makeup lover or a beginner, it's ideal for everyone. Now, many people who are beginners uh, purchase the first batch or the first launch of the set. And to most of them, most of the brushes are not that common or they don't know how to use it for. So I thought to take this time now to uh, tell you guys about each individual brushes and what's their uses, of course. So that way, it'll give you a little bit more of a reference. So again, 15 brushes, they're all comparable, and they're $59.95, which is an awesome price for 15 amazing brushes, and of course, the uh, apron. Now the apron, I'm going to start with. The apron you can wear as a bag, okay, like a messenger bag, or you can wear it around your waist as, an, as a belt, like a brush belt, okay? So again, that's ideal for pros. And also it's a great storage as well because it's got a cover, of course, and it's got my logo and crown logo, and it's got a magnetic snap, right? So that way, if you store this, the brushes are not going to go anywhere, okay? So, which is really cool. That's why this is actually one of my favorite aprons. Um, there is, and it's good quality um, uh, vinyl leather and uh, it's pretty heavy duty and stuff. So let's go over each individual brushes. All right, so in the set, you're going to get a powder brush, which is a fluffy brush. I love this brush because it's dense. See that density, it's giving a good kick, all right? And of course, this is your standard powder brush, okay? You use this to set your makeup with powder or to blot. You know, if you're getting shiny, you just need a little bit of powder and you just basically uh, powder your face with a powder brush. Now, this is also big enough to be um, to be a brush for the body, uh, especially the neckline or decollete and stuff. And again, you know, when you guys are setting makeup, make sure you're not brushing it just because it's a brush with powder. It doesn't mean that you have to brush it. Make sure that you are pressing and rolling. So that's why you want the density on a brush when it comes to setting powder. All right, so you just press and roll. So that's how you use that. The next brush in the set, of course, is the uh, stippling brush or the skunk brush, okay? So this is ideal for foundation, especially liquid foundation, because this is what's going to give you kind of like that airbrush look. If you want an airbrush look or that pixelized look, of course, you stipple, all right? Just like that. And you can also stipple and then swirl, okay? So that's kind of going to give you a little bit more uh, a nice coverage, but it's not going to give you that airbrush look. So if you want an airbrush look to liquid foundation, you want to stipple and keep stippling. Just keep stippling, of course, and that's going to pixelize the foundation right on your skin. All right, so that's part of the set. And of course, the uh, smaller version of that is the uh, smaller stippler brush. And this is ideal for uh, liquid foundation again. Um, you can also use it on cream blushes and whatnot. That's going to just be on like certain smaller areas. This is also going to get to the contour of the eye right here, especially, you know, this part right here is very, very hard to get. It's going to get to that, the side of the nose, perfect for that. So any smaller areas, you know, that the bigger brush is not going to be able to concentrate on, this is the brush that you're going to want to use. 
The next brush, of course, is the standard blush brush. Again, it's nice and dense, and of course, this is where you, um, this is the brush you use for blushing and also for bronzing. I love using this for bronzing as well. So any skin effects, highlighter, anything like that, this is the brush that you want to use for that. The next brush in the set is the angled. This is, I love this brush. Uh, this is the angled contour brush, of course, and it's, uh, it's white goat hair, so it holds color. And this is great for contouring, okay, shading, you know, the skin, uh, contouring uh, certain parts of the skin, the jawline, underneath the cheekbones, on the side of the nose, all right, temples, forehead. This is the best brush for that, so that's part of the set. And then, of course, your standard foundation brush, the universal foundation brush, right here. Okay, and this is, of course, universal, so you can use this in any formulation, mousse foundation, long wear foundation, liquid, creams, gels, you know, name it. This is your universal foundation brush. Okay, and then we're going on to the next set of brushes in here where you have your pencil brush. Of course, pencil brush is also called the bullet brush. This is great for crease work. So if you're doing like deeper crease work, it's great for that. If you're doing a smoky eyeliner, this is great for smoking uh, liner as well. All right, so anything that you want to smudge, you know, anything that has like a smaller detail, this is really great. And as you can see, you know, it comes to a nice point. All right, so it's really gonna concentrate on applying that, you know. Uh, certain areas of your eye makeup um, and you can do the outer V as well you know with this brush so that's pretty much what that is for it also comes with the smudger brush this is the mini smudger again this is great for doing smoky eyes all right and it's also great for getting into like tight lines like right in the inner corner eye right here you know which bigger brushes can't get to this is the brush that you can really really concentrate and get makeup right into that hard to reach area especially in the inner corner I love this brush for applying color right on the lash line the lower lash line because it really gets underneath the hair and then it applies the color nicely right on where the area that you're going to, you know, put it. So there it is, you know, so you can see it kind of wedge into a nice edge right there. And that's what's going to get into that line. The next brush is a shader blender brush. This is probably familiar to most of you guys. This is probably one of my favorite brushes to apply eyeshadows. It's like, you know, one brush does it all. You know, you can do the main lid, the, uh, the uh, base of the brow bone. You can do, you know, the, uh, the uh, darker outer corner. Uh, I also use this for um, the brow bone highlighter. So it's pretty much a really good brush. And then the next brush is your standard blender brush. Now in the new edition, okay, this brush is natural color. It's not dyed black, much like this one. This is from the original launch. It's still the same brush but it's natural color now. It's more brown because of, um, I thought somehow like, you know, if it's natural, it's not going to give you, you know, the little bit of the uh, dye coming out and stuff like that, but they will eventually stop. So for those of you guys who got the original one, they will stop. This brush already stopped bleeding. So, you know, just kind of like, you know, to get over the hassle of that, I just requested them to be natural. So it's kind of like a brown color. Okay, so it's not dyed, but it's still that soft yet dense, um, you know, kind of like tip and stuff. And of course, blender brush, you blend the colors, okay? You blend them to transition, all right? So that way you don't get hard edges, hard creases and stuff like that. So that's the brush for that. And then it also comes with another synthetic brush, and this is a concealer brush. Of course, you know, for concealers, if you're doing spot concealing here and there, this is perfect for that. And this is also the perfect brush for... Um, eyeshadow primer. If you use eyeshadow primer, this is the brush for that. Now the next one is a fluffy, here we go, shader brush, okay. This is ideal for your uh, eyeshadow right in the main lid because you want to press that in by patting it on first and then blending and spreading them out, you know, to distribute them evenly. And this is definitely ideal for loose powders, mineral uh, eyeshadows, pigments, stuff like that because you want the density to press on the skin first so that way you don't get fall-offs. And then, you know, spread them out once you see it stick into the skin. So that's part of this set. And then there's also a sable brush right here. 
which is another ideal brush for using pigments and you want to apply it wet, which is what we call foiling. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to wet the brush, of course, and then use the pigment, all right, or uh, loose mineral eyeshadows, things like that. And then much like the shader brush, you want to press it on first, all right, and then, you know, just distribute it around. Okay, so that's what that is for. And then you have the liner brush, which is an angled brush. So you see right here, it's angled. Okay, this is great for uh, using gel liners, liquid liners. Uh, you can use pencil and pick up the color from here, and then you just apply that right on the liner line. You can do wing liner. You'll have a lot of control because of the angle. So that's that. And then finally, you've got your fluffy shader brush, and this is great for smoky eye because it'll basically deposit a lot of color right into the main lid and then just smoke it out all the way to grab on okay so this is ideal for that so those are the brushes that's in the kit so hopefully for those of you guys who are a beginner and this is your starter uh, brush set that'll give you kind of like the basics of what the brushes are used for and also for lips I love using again this uh, concealer brush for lips as well it makes a great lip brush so that's uh, definitely kind of like one of those multi-use brushes in the set. Okay, so again, they're $59.95, and uh, I will put the link to the uh, page on the more info section. They are available at crownbrush.us, and uh, it's limited edition, guys. It's not permanent, so if they run out, they're going to run out again. You're going to wait and wait and wait, and I don't know this time around if I'm going to relaunch this so but hopefully you know I ordered enough to uh, have most of you done and do keep in mind that I have a lot of RSVPs on this so we're trying to process those first before we get to uh, you know whoever else ordered so just give it a little bit of time I'll say a lot right now allow three to five days for processing because we're trying to get a lot of orders out and you know they're gonna sell out again like I said last time it sold out in four days and we had 500 you know last time and this time I think we have 500 again I'm not sure maybe just a little bit more but like I said I want to make it you know limited edition and stuff like that it's a really great set and there are many people who already acquired it again you know 500 people already own this you know from the initial launch and they all love it of course and of course you know now is your chance to get them all right so hopefully that helps you guys out and again look into it and until next time i'll see you guys soon bye